Hello all, thanks for stopping by Shaving with Peg Leg. If you're new here, please hit that like and subscribe button and help the algorithms of the channel. And now, onto the shave. Hello all, welcome back to uh, Shaving with Peg Leg. Um, my unboxing video, I noticed something. When I deleted um, my PEAA link off of my computer that I had on the top, when I was going through deleting all, all my stuff I was going to order next month and then deleted the app, or the, the link, at the very top, it said free shipping on orders over $75. Last week it was $70. So he's gone from $65 for free shipping to $70 for free shipping, now to $75. Not happy with that. I want to thank you all for joining me. Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. I was That's irking me. Um, thank you all for joining me. Yes, this is just me. I'm not telling anybody else not to buy PAA or not use it. I'm not one of these that if I'm mad at a company, I'm just going to throw all their stuff away. I'm not going to do that. It's just, it irks me when, when stuff like this happens. Um, yes, I am using the chocolate bourbon that I just got in today. And I did check it. It's the same throughout, so I just scraped off the top it looks a little lighter underneath but that's the way it is all the way down just like the very top of it's just dark and I noticed something else when I went to lather this soap up see that I did not order CK6 and I checked my invoice and my my order is saved on on their site and I went back and checked it I did not order CK6 they must have been out of the regular and they sent me CK6 so one point for them instead of contacting me saying hey sorry we can't fill this we're out of that you can pay the extra and get CK6 at that point I would have been mad I'll just say mad this stuff whips up yes we're using the Q-shape scuttle and the green ray brush but this stuff whips up looks like a chocolate milkshake and we are going to use the cube we'll wet the face dip the cube in water get it wet and pre-shave up with the cube. See, the one thing I forgot to add on that order if I was going to place next month, and I was going to put it on the list to go with everything else I had ordered, so I wanted to get another cube because I figured that was going to be my last order for them for a while, or if ever. And I just decided, nope. There's too many other soap companies out there to do business with. The razor Company carries most most soaps out there, and I'm just gonna do business with them because I just I have my own things, my own quirks. Everybody has quirks, and that's one of mine. It's a nice warm lather. And yes, it looks like a milkshake on my face. And CK6. Loves water. So we will give it some more. So it's not so pasty.
And I'm learning one thing about using this scuttle. Do not preheat it and then put your soap in there. Because your soap turns to mush. It won't stay on the bottom to be lathered. It moves around inside the bowl, gets all tied up in the bristles of the brush, and does not want to lather well. Okay, stay there. Slinging the stuff everywhere. Okay, we're going to go with that because I'm getting more lather everywhere than in my face. Legima, 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 solid brass razor with, and they're fly deer blades, platinums, um, they were double wrapped, so let's see how this, it's, it's a .533 razor gap, no overhang, but decent blade exposure, Gap alone doesn't um, dictate blade uh, razor efficiency. It's also how much exposure there is. And I do have a sharp blade over here ready to go in this if I need it. But I'm not going to. I just tried to pull a chuck and stretch my face with my mouth, but I don't have the same contortion abilities that he does. Blade's actually not that bad. Rockwell would do well to put these in with their razors instead of that crap that they call a blade. Or even if you guys remember the plain brown box, the ones I got with one of my razors just made in China, no name on them. Those also were better than a Rockwell. God, those are some horrible blades. <sighs> you guys ever watch a video? You've probably done it with me. I probably used something you've used and you've gone and you didn't like it and you've seen me use it and I liked it and you're like, what the hell's wrong with that guy? I do that all the time. I watch videos and they're shaving with something that I've used that I'm not fond of or absolutely hate and I'm like where the hell are you coming from what are you talking about how much crack did you smoke this morning because that sucks that stuff's absolutely horrible how do you like that well I do that every time I see somebody use a strange lip blade and they like it I know it's all individual preferences, but I just think that. It's like, do you, when they say, oh, these are great blades, it's like, do you even know what a good blade is? I'm 
sure we all think like that. We don't we don't post it in their comments and say, what the hell's wrong with you, dude? We just go with it and say, okay, you like it, I don't, that's that's good. Okay, whatever. Yeah, but I do that every time. Fortunately, I know I'm not the only one out there that thinks that way on those blades. Try across and see what happens. A little real light. So we're in the middle of our cold front right now. So it's only like 63 degrees out or something like that. It's nice. Good weather to sit out on the porch and smoke a pipe. I've got so much lather in here, I could do two more shaves. I didn't realize it until after I put the soap in the scuttle and how much soap I put in that it was CK6. And you don't need a lot of CK6. Because it likes water, and the more water you add to it, the more lather you get. Against the grain, here we go. This razor, I had to weigh the handle and head separately because it maxed out my scale, but at least I was able to weigh it. It's heavy. It's solid brass. The head's brass. The handle's brass. 
and for under twenty dollars to get a solid brass razor my usuals just a little bit through here and a little bit through there Have you ever, have you guys ever stopped to think about how many times you knock shit off a counter or a table during the day? And how many times you drop stuff and, and have to bend down to pick it up? Have you ever actually thought about it? Or you just go with it and just, it happens, so you just pick it up? I've thought about it. It's like, good God, I'm a klutz. You guys notice there's a plethora of, what is it, the one blade that they're pushing now, everybody's using? It's like almost every channel out there is using this razor. It's because their new version came out. Not for me. I'm not into single edges. It's good. Still just a bit through here. Let me see if I can get that. I don't, I'm not feeling any irritation right now. I probably will after this. Just want to see if I can pick that up. I got it. Okay, now we're good. <sighs> good now. There we go. That's a good shaver. The blade isn't bad either, and actually there's ten of those blades and not five like I originally thought. So if you pick this up, twenty bucks, you get ten under twenty dollars, you get ten blades, a solid blast brass razor. You get 10 blades, solid brass, solid brass razor, 10 blades if you only use them four times, that's still 40 shaves for under 20 bucks. It's a good looking razor too. It's, I mean, you know, it's not bad, right? 
sucker's heavy. You could beat somebody to death with that thing. <laughs> this the whole front of me is just so. Eh. I do like the scent of that. That is that is a great scent. Um, I just wish it was stronger. It's, it's like I said. They start off as a three. They go to a three and a half after you lather them. It's it's just not strong enough. Come on, we're paying. If, if I bought CK6, this would have been twenty four ninety five a tub or forty four ninety five as a bundle. For twenty five bucks a tub, when you open this thing up. And when you put it on your face, the scent should knock you down. Right? It's the way I look at it. I shouldn't have to fight with the soap to get a scent off of it. But I've been running into that with PAAs, soaps. All of them, actually. Um... The only one that wasn't that bad was at two. That was more like a four to four and a half, and then up, then up to a four and a half five when it was lathered. Um, tombstone was weak. What else did I have up there? Oh, Droid was okay. Droid's okay. That's that's like a five to six after it's lathered. But none of them are just. They don't knock your socks off. myself right there. I had about two on the neck. Nothing on the face, cold and wet. And about two all the way across on the neck. I'm, I'm just... I know everybody likes that PAA, and I do too. I'm just very disappointed in them, and just just gonna be the way I am about things. It's like, especially when I saw that they went up by dollars from a month ago, and now I find out they went up another five dollars in a week. So they've gone up ten dollars over the last month for shipping. You build business by being customer friendly. I'm sure most of you agree with me on that. And when you're doing stuff like that, you're not being customer friendly. Sorry, I had to move my ass back in the seat. I'm sliding forward. If I could slid any more, I'd just dis disappear off camera. Which probably wouldn't be a bad thing for you guys. You wouldn't have to look at my face anymore. All right, which hazel? And some of these razors that just came in that I did the unboxing yesterday for, I'm already getting emails from Amazon wanting me to rate the razors. It's like, I got eight of them in. You think I shaved eight times yesterday? I made a mistake and opened this because I have one of the sample tubes, but that's okay. I'll just let that one ride. I'll save it for later. Okay, something is coming out. Couldn't see it. I haven't got my glasses on. That's a great scent. It really is. If you've never tried chocolate bourbon, you can smell chocolate, you can smell bourbon. It's, it's a, it really is a great scent. My Nivea Nip Max Hydration. Only using that much. I saw somebody do a video yes, yesterday, was it this morning? It was yesterday's, it was last night's video that they put out. My 
God, the amount of ball. I only use, even for my fat face, I just rub it, pick up that little bit of residue of the aftershave off my hands, just wipe my skin with it. He could he could have literally bombed a whole cow. <laughs> he had so much in his hand. I was like, seriously, your face isn't as bad as mine is, and you're using that much. It's like, good God, my man, you're gonna be greasy for a day and a half. I don't like being greasy. I just want enough to replace moisture in my skin that I've just removed with all the soap and everything and the blade dragging on my skin. That's it. Alright guys, coming to the end here for less than twenty dollars comes with ten platinum blades which actually weren't that bad. They're better than the Strangelets to me, a lot better. Um, I would put them on par with uh, a Treat Platinum or a Willie's Platinum. I would put them right up there with that, even though they're not a name brand. Not for us. They might be in China, but they're not here. Good razor, a solid brass, no overhang, good blade exposure, 0.533 gap, which isn't a lot, but combined with the blade exposure, it gave a great shave. I had to do two touch-ups, but I am now BBS. You can't ask for more than that. They're under 20 bucks. Gentlemen, I appreciate everybody taking time to watch this. Tomorrow is a head shave with the Dollar Club, Dollar Shave Club razor, right? Yeah, DSC. Dollar Shave Club razor on the head tomorrow. We'll test that out against the Harry's. We'll see what happens. And I'll have some more coming in next week so we can continue that project too. And next month we start a whole new project, a whole new series. I'll tune you in on that the closer we get to order time. And I appreciate you all stopping in. Done with the babbling fat guy in the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys.